Say go. Uh, so, uh, Mazi. So to begin with, you guys, uh, I believe long story short that my Z has bad injectors because of bad gas. And what I mean by that is, I went to that last video, as you can see, I posted of us going down to Mexico. Um, I guess. When I went downtown to that uh, gas station, and it was packed, and we got kicked out because you know other people's just taking over the pumps. Um, I filled my car up with 93, but I believe that gas was bad, and we've had an issue with uh, that with Jose Z one night, and his Z was really, really like tripping out. So it's that was like I ain't gonna lie, like a year or two ago when that happened. Uh, so it's been since then, but mine's out. Re this was recently, like last month, when that happened. Right before, well, not last, but like I guess you could say four, two weeks, three weeks, maybe at the max. And um, yeah, I decided to pump gas or whatnot. Ever since then, I've been having issues with my Z. Like it's been shutting off on me in the middle of traffic. Try to fire back up, it wouldn't fire back up. Then out of the blue, it'll fire back up. So I was like, you know what? Let me check. It smelled like fuel. So what I did is like put some fuel injector cleaner, and then I changed out one of the fuel uh, regulators on it. Put Jose's fuel regulator on it. It did a little bit better. Then after that, I guess you could say like two days later, I decided to fill up, fill it up with gas. I let it burn all that gas out. It decides to fire up. You know, driving home. Right when I got to the light next to the gas station it shuts off again so I was like well I guess we gotta change out the fuel filter and that other fuel regulator so I decided to change both of those out and long story short took it to work and on my lunch break it was kinda acting funny so we got to the what was that we got to the uh, exit uh, of the bridge basically and it shuts off on me while we're still like rolling then after that I try to f fire back up you can hear it like trying to start up and just at the same time you can hear the injectors like I guess you could say like making uh, uh I guess you could say like not firing right and yeah so I was like you know what I just don't have the time to right now to fool with that uh, Z, so I just took it to the shop. I know a lot of people are wondering like why did I take it to the shop? I'm like, well, at this point I'm tired of fooling with it and I don't have the time to fool with it. 
because I'm always, you know, working with somebody else's stuff. And yeah, so I was really, like, really trying to hurry up and work on the other Z and get that part right. Then drop it in that black Z. So, just, you can't really do so much at all at once. So, yeah. So, that Z right now. And I decided to go ahead and get this transmission fixed. Maybe I need another clutch. Maybe I don't. I've had that clutch for about two, almost three years. And that's not actually bad. That's like, uh, that was an Iron Man clutch with a 12 pound flywheel for Deja, uh, from Concept Z. And the clutch, I got that from Action Clutch. So it held up pretty good and it really puts it in work. But at the same time, I was just testing the waters for Jetzilla. Um, Mosey. <coughs> That's how it looks right now. Uh, basically, his is an NA with a hole. His has a hole in the block, but you can't see it right now because we don't have the motor fully, the motor fully out. Um, so right now, on his Z, we got everything out, like the harness and all that. Only thing I did uh, forget to do was disconnect that dry shaft and drop the trans first. So what we're going to have to do is, like put the motor uh put the motor back in its place where it sits on the subframe and then bring that transmission down which it's already disconnected the trans and the motor is already disconnected so all we would have to do is like shift the trans back to where it originally was then take the dry shaft off and drop that trans and the motor will come out so that's all we really have left on it but i probably won't be doing it in this video i had to do it in a separate video because right now he basically uh, has a uh, like OEM Z32 like everything even the bumper had all the screws for like you know that sits up under the headlight and everything for that bracket on the, on the front bumper and the shrouding and all that under shroud and yeah so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed if you didn't comment down below you think I should work on and uh I'll see y'all in the next one